Uh, hello everyone, I'm back with a little, this is going to be a little tutorial video for Crisis 3 and somewhat for Crisis 2 because the commands are the same. Now, this is me walking about with the default field of view in this game and as you'll notice, it's pretty damn narrow, right? But if you're on PC, this could be uncomfortably narrow when you're sat, you know, pretty close to your damn screen. So for those of you who may want to change that, I have a little, well, a little bit of a demonstration. Anywho, there's one command line that you should need to learn, and it's this, cl underscore fov. FOV. Now, if you're used to uh, Linux or Unix commands, then you'll actually find out that if you tapping in a terminal and you press tab to like complete the thing you're tapping in, in this if you type it, if you just need to remember the first few letters of the command and just press tab and it will bring down it will bring down a list of all the commands that you can possibly type starting in with whatever it was so I preferred to use 80 and he said that's a massive change in my field of view right there now as you notice the gun model I stayed exactly the same size so that's no good so what you help what you need then is r underscore draw near fov so that's 80 as well that resizes your guns and now you're not quite ready to go because if you watch this bit of hilarity there you go Ooh, is that resizing that's because this game engine uses uh, three different fields of view so you need one that resets your sprinting field of view now this is pl underscore and it's the only one of its kind so press tab and it brings it down for you so that's 80 and away you go. Nice and rock solid. Nothing's changing. Apart from when you zoom in. And there you go, you can see the whole world. I think there's a slight bit of fish eyeing and stuff if you notice in the corner. Like it gets stretched out as I bring it to the next edge of my uh, field of view. But other than that, it's absolutely flawless. And I'm really happy with it. What the hell are all these my arrows do anyway? I'm over there. Oh yeah, this can really improve the way um, gameplay feels on this game. Whoops. So yeah, you might want to invest in it if you have this game. Although it does make it slight bit more taxing on your rig. And SLI 770s are doing a decent job. I'll show you my settings at the moment. Oh, shit. Anywho, let's have a look. So at the moment I'm getting around 80 over here and about 60 FPS around there. Right. So if we go in the options, I'll give you a little look. Everything's on max. Motion blur is disabled because nobody likes motion blur. And um, regular graphics, we're at TXA four times, which is as high as I would like to push it. I could do a lot of things, S MSAA, but I don't know, I think I, I think the trade-off between this and MSAA is you kind of get the same quality at half the times. I haven't got VSync turned on because it locks it to 60 anyway, so there's no point, I don't have screen tearing problems, so I have no need. But yeah. And also, now, here's the thing. If you type in these commands in game by opening up the menu, which is the button next to one on the uh, European keyboards, um, every time you restart the game, you'll have to type it in again. Now, there is a fix for this. Oh god! Whoops, sorry. Now, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go into your games install folder, which is wherever wherever the hell you chose to install it, which drive you did. But it'll be in your program files x86 architecture. It's in your origin games folder and in the Crisis 3 subfolder of that. And if you look down the list, you will have uh, system.config. Okay. Now, if you don't have one of these, you just right click, make a, make a text file, doesn't really matter. Delete the name, delete the um, ex file extension. And then you just go in system type in conf I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna spell it wrong. 
conf uh, config. And then change file extension, yes. And it makes me a config file that I can then edit. Okay? That's if you don't have one. Because for some I don't think I had one, I can't remember. Now in this, you want to open it up. I assume I think there's one already in here. There's another one that you may have to make. But anyway, you open up this config file, all this stuff's set by the game when you load it up in your preferences. Now, these are the same commands that I just typed in in the, in the window in its console in game. But there's another one here. We have skip g underscore skip intro capital I. Now that equals one. Now what that does is gets rid of the uh, introduction movie when you start the game up, so it speeds up boot times really quickly, which is nice. And we also have multi GPU support, making sure that it knows I've got two. Other than that, the L underscore FOV all capitals equals 80. R underscore draw near FOV equals 80. And PL underscore movement dot power underscore sprint underscore target FOV equals 80. Now you could just pause it at this point in the video and make this yourself, it shouldn't be too bad. Now, that's not the end of this video. I'm going to go back to uh, where the hell my Steam library is. And I'll show you... Where is it? We've got an to spell. Crisis 2. Now, there's a system config here. And we have... Same, same file. I set the uh, skip intro one one and this one doesn't quite work so well okay I, you I type in the commands in here thinking okay it should do exactly the same and when you load the game up it defaults back to the original uh, resolution uh, so yes these are the three commands you need and um, works for crisis 3 if you copy and paste them straight into the .config file well, uh, Crisis 2 does not work. The same commands st are still used, though. So, basically, as long as you know these, you can just... If you're playing on Crisis 2, and your field of view sucks, because it does, it's too, too narrow on PC, ram in these, and all glory will behold you. And you'll also need to type them in every single time you start the game. Otherwise, it forgets and defaults, and then pisses you off. Anyway, thanks for watching this little video. I hope this came in... And if any of you Crisis 3 PC players are still even Crisis 2 players, if you had Crisis 3 and thought, ah, oh, I might as well pick up Crisis 2 in a cheap sale or something, and you want to play it, but you couldn't because it was field of view was too narrow, this will solve your problems. And it's also probably giving you a little demo of how Crisis 3 looks and runs and looks and runs on my rig, which is pretty good. Other than the first level has some real frame rate issues for some reason, I don't know why. Anyway, take care, guys. I'll see you in a bit.